Mish, where you f- what would you do at Amazon Music? So I'm head of production and creative um, for EU and the rest of the world. So, um, so yeah, it's great. It's great to be here again. We were here last year as well. So I know you're really busy at the moment. So I'm going to keep it really swift. Let me go with first. So how successful has the Amazon Music Festival live streaming been since you introduced it? It's been really successful. Um, we've just been growing and growing over time. We started in COVID, like uh, you know, a lot of other companies. But now we're kind of taking it away from just kind of traditional festival coverage into kind of a bigger proposition. So one of the big things for us is that this isn't a kind of FOMO, wish you could have been there kind of moment. It's much more about like creating like a different experience for people at home, those that can't make it because they live in another country or whatever it might be. So we really film it with that in mind of like getting people to see things that you wouldn't even see if you were here live. Amazing. What are the main challenges you face when live streaming large festivals like Wireless? Well, you're here. You've just heard me on the phone. There's loads of logistics. Um, So we're all about the logistics. You know, we're having to work on top of other people who are also trying to put the festival on for people who are here. Uh, You know, there's a lot of production logistics that goes into it. You know, we've got multiple trucks, 15 cameras across two stages. Um, So as you can imagine, it's not an easy operation, but, you know, we've got a host set, so we've got live links and, you know, ways of interviewing artists. We've got a social set backstage as well, artist area and the live stream itself. So yeah, busy, busy. Getting you out for five minutes was a it was a, was a success, and basically. Oh no, it's nice to have a break. <laughs> can you walk us through the process of setting up a live stream for a festival? Well, as you can imagine, it's like months and months of prep. You know, we work really closely with the festival promoter to get this, um, you know, live stream off the ground. We don't have all the information straight away. As you know, the lineup changes constantly. And so we are very flexible and evolve with it. Um, You know, there's a lot of creative that goes into it, how we design the host set, how it works with the kind of the festival creative, how it works with Amazon and how we do things. Um, And so it's like a constant, you know, conversation. Obviously, in the month leading up to it, it really ramps up. Uh, It's all we're talking about. So Mish, can you just talk me through what's exactly happening, the logistics of exactly what's happening right behind me, please? Yeah, so you're, what you're seeing now is our host set. So in between performances, we've got our two hosts, Craig Mitch and Destol, who are kind of interviewing artists, they're performing, um, and artists are just here as fans as well. Um, essentially, we built the set. We d- we've been designing the set for a couple of weeks, but we built it yesterday. It's underneath the big stretch tent, as you can see. Um, again, leaning into like the overall aesthetic of the festival and what we're doing. Um, and yeah, basically, we've interviewed artists like NSG on there already. We've got uh, Sean Paul going to come for an interview later on. So yeah, really good. It's just a good way to kind of hear from artists as well as see great music. All put together perfectly. Um, how, do you, how do you ensure high quality streaming during live events, especially in such a dynamic in- environment like this? Well, high production value and high quality is like our big MO. You know, we want to deliver fans and customers like the best possible video experience of their festivals. So, you know, for us, it's, you know, we live stream on HDR for Prime Video. You're getting like super crisp cinematic cameras on the stages. And then, of course, you know, we add that with like some amazing social content, additional kind of like interviews. We are also on Twitch, so we cater to that. You're getting like a full experience from us. Um, Technologically, we're using like the best in the business, you know, best transportation transmission trucks, best cameras, you name it. How do you see the role of live streaming evolving in the festival industry? I think it's constantly evolving and you know we're evolving with it you know we've got some really great things coming up Fuji Rock Festival is the next big thing that we're doing just announced today actually we are launching our city sessions format which already exists in the US but we're now launching it globally really exciting like live stream proposition and being able to see artists in like really intimate amazing performances for fans um, you know we're constantly evolving thinking about live streams you know we've evolved from kind of single artist shows like 1975 Central Sea and now we're doing festivals as well so like it's just a continuing you know we're seeing so much success with it like the twitch chat rooms go off everybody loves it you know we're just here to, to do more if we can my next question was what else does amazon music have lined up but you just literally answered oh it. sorry i jumped <laughs> the gun thank you very much so much for this no i know worries. you've got to get back to a busy stage thank so you. thank you again yeah.